Welcome to Omaha, Nebraska on a Friday afternoon for a Big East tilt between the Providence Friars and the Great Blue Jays on the Big East Digital Network. Let alone games, and it is time for basketball. Providence is going to win the tip, and Janae Krug. Good crowd on this Friday afternoon. The game time was originally scheduled for 6.30 as the three dropped from Peyton Brodsky. Or a rebound or steal away from it. Nice answer from Jensen. Here's Jensen for three. That one goes, and Craig extends. Coming upon the first media timeout of the quarter, here's Batchelor. A couple of players on each side waiting to come in. Make it three now for the Blue Jays. What a pass inside. Here's Batchelor. Didn't ever dribble. No travel, though. She kept the pivot foot down and gets a two. Uh, and it's, it's not really the shot you want her taking. Rembao, what a nice find. Not typically a tremendous three-point shooter. Wow, what a nice pass inside. Mallory break him. He did not want to let her do that in a good tie-up by the Blue Jays underneath there. Yeah, Kroom's averaging almost three offensive rebounds per game this year. Leads the team nothing but Nyla. Rachel Saunders handing it off to Mogensen. Mogensen with the floater. Nice answer on the other end. They, they do it the same way over and over and over again. And you break that rhythm, it's going to be tough. Here's a three from Morgan Molly. Skies that one in. Ronsick to Rembao. Rembao thought she might shoot a three. She decides not to. Gives it up to Haran. Haran, though, knocks down a tray. And uh, these players who come in off the bench here, Fosu and Cook, are getting it done. Nice job by Haran. A pump fake. Drop ball out of the air with that left hand. Yeah, just great concentration on the one hand catch. And then on the other end, miscommunication. Ronsick. There's Ronsick going by Baskerville. Rembao for three. She gets it to go right in front of Jim Crowley in the Providence bench. Now to Rembao. No dribbling right now. Here's Jensen with a quick three. Well, Gary's going to have to get going on the offensive end. It can't just be Crooms and Baskerville. And Emma Ronsick answers on the other side with a three. Trying to go up with the left hand. Wow, what another great pass. This one, Brodsky to Saunders. Jim Crowley could not say enough good things about her in our conversation this week. Here's a turnaround <laughs> from Morgan Molly. And they're going to try for a two for one, but a nice block inside by Mallory Break. Now Creighton can try for the two for one, and they will. Warren Jensen. It has been a great 20 minutes for the Blue Jays. Another three from Molly. And it's been more effective. The defense has looked better for Providence coming out of the halftime. The Friars with an 8-3 to three advantage in points in this half. Here's a three, though. Nice answer on the other end. Broom, spin move. A couple Blue Jays on her, taken away by Peyton Brodsky. And Jensen, wow, no one around her. That's an easy make for Lauren Jensen. And quickly, John, the lead back up to 19. This is a tough Blue Jays team to match up with. Here's another three from Morgan. Molly! The but this is not, like, from an offensive perspective, it's not a game that you should be losing by 20. Break. Haran now trying her hand at a three. And it Perhaps, if not the greatest, among the greatest women's basketball programs of all time. Nice teams. There's a left-handed shot from Alyssa Geary, and she misses it. We spent so much time talking about the Creighton offense, but they've also held Providence. Lead balloon to 30 points. To see that type of effort on the defensive end, there's Carly Batchelor. And so with six and a half to go, Creighton goes the other way. Dwork was wide open. She had to take it. Jamie Horan for three. Nothing but net. Great up to 89 points. Wally, though, 